So hello everyone, welcome back to Laptop New E-commerce app using Android for today. So as you can see, we are in third section of our course. In this section, we will learn how to link our custom recyclable adapter with our main application. And then at the end of this tutorial, we will learn how to navigate from one activity to another activity using Recycler View. So let's So head back to Android Studio. In our last tutorial, we created this custom recycler view adapter and we buy we had bind all our data with our UI by using view holder class. Now in this tutorial, we will link this recycler view with our main application. So go to our main file and for linking the recycler view for the for with our application, we need to use layout manager. So let's create a variable layout manager equals to now here we have to decide which type of layout we need for our application. So as we, uh, I had shown you in previous tutorial, we will use grid layout manager. So type here grid layout manager in round brackets. Now here we need to pass two parameters. First one will be context of our class. So context is this and then here we need to pass how much uh, grids, how much, uh, how many grids we need in one row. So here we need in two uh, grids in one row. So we will enter here two column count span and then uh, we need to decide the orientation of our layout manager. So layout manager dot orientation equals to grid layout manager dot vertical. We need application is vertical, vertical layout. So I will give it orientation as vertical. Now what is name of our recycler view? Recycler view name is custom recycler view adapter, right? So but go to our main file. Here we have created this recycler view. The name of our ID of our recycler view is recycler view. So let's uh, set the layout manager for this recycler view, right? So type your ID of recycler view, which is recycler view dot layout manager equals to object of our layout manager which is layout manager so now here we have decided the layout manager of our recycler view layout of our recycler view now let's link our adapter with our main application so create a variable let's give it name as adapter equals to now here, here we need to pass the name of our recycler view adapter so our recycler adapter is custom recycler view adapter now here we need to pass the two parameters first one is context right and second one is list of our data so here we need to pass list of our data let's go to data class and list of our data is super uh, laptops laptops contains the list of our data but we can access laptop with our object variable right so supplier dot laptops so type here supplier s u p p l i supplier dot laptops right now let's uh, set adapter to our recycler view recycler view dot adapter equals to variable of our adapter right now i think our application uh, we had linked this recycler view for with our application let's run our application and see As you can see, our laptops has been added in grid-like structure. What if we use different layout? Let's see. Let's try once. Let's use uh, linear layout, right? Linear layout manager. Right. We know we don't need this spam count right here. If we are using linear layout manager. Linear layout manager means one by one it will display. Now let's run the program and see. There are basically three types of layout manager. Linear layout manager, grid layout manager and third one is staggered grid layout manager. If you don't remember these layouts, how they look like, then I will give a link in my description for that video. I also uploaded the video on that layout manager. I will give link in description. As you can see, this is our linear layout manager. But we need grid layout manager for our uh, application. So change it back to grid layout. 
right now i will show you how to navigate from one activity to another when i will click on any of this uh, laptop it will navigate it to another activity so for that we need a second activity we need an empty activity so let's give it name as second click on finish now when we click on any of this item it will be navigated to our second activity right so for that we need here initialization block which will be called as init right uh, all the functioning related to our list or, or that laptop we need to implement here in, inside our initialization block right so item view dot set on click this map set on click this map here you can see here each of the item is an item view each laptop is an item view each card layout is an item view so if i talk about this part of our application this is an one item view this is a second item view right so when i will click on this it will be navigated to second activity so item view dot set on click listener first of all let's print a toast message dot make text here context of our application comma let's pass here string uh, so I will pass the selector selector now if we want to print here current laptop so what we will do so we need to create here variable you are in the current laptop colon laptop data which is of null label equals to null Right, we can use it like this. Now, uh, here inside our set data method, this dot current laptop equals to laptop. Now it will access the current laptop location, right? In the variable current laptop. So, selected with uh, concatenation sign, and here we can use current laptop colon colon dot title right we need to access the name of our laptop so title comma toast dot then short because we need to print for short time dot show method now uh, we need to this is just for to print the toast message now we need to na navigate from one activity to another so for that we will use intent variable let's create a variable of our intent equals to intent which will take two parameters first one is the context and second one will be name of our application uh, name of our second activity uh, where we have to navigate so name of our second activity is uh, second right second now we here we need to use the concept of Kotlin reflection so colon colon plus dot java this is known as the concept of Kotlin reflection right now we need to use uh, this start activity method context dot start activity and here we need to pass the variable of our intent now now i think our application is ready for the navigation so let's run the program and see if it works fine or not now as you can see this is a list of our laptops and then when I click on any of the laptop at that time it shows me the here toast message as well as it has been navigated to my second activity let's click grab back and again select any other laptop it will show your toast message and navigate to second activity so and it will happen for all the uh, laptops it is showing name of that laptop so in this way you can uh, navigate from one activity to another and you can link the recycler view to our main application. So thanks for watching.